So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, basically um, what I want you to remember is when we're doing a problem like this, uh, what we're simply going to do, Paige, is we are going to have division of exponents. We're basically going to take the powers and subtract them as long as our bases are the same, which in this case it is. So notice that we do have a negative, for example. So that's just going to be on the outside. We're not really going to affect our problem, but it's going to be 8 or negative 8. And then we're simply going to subtract. So I'm going to have 1 3rd minus 5 6. Now, a lot of times when I'm doing a problem like this, I know that subtracting or adding fractions, because you have to have the same denominator, is going to take a little bit of work. So I'm just going to do this kind of to the side. If I do 1 3rd minus 5 6, what we discussed at the beginning of the year was when you're subtracting or adding fractions with unlike denominators, you have to get common denominators. So to get the common denominator, notice the common denominator is 6. So I'll divide by or I'll multiply by 2 over 2. Therefore, I obtain 2 6 minus 5 6 which equals a negative 3, 6. Right? Yes. Remember, the negative rule works for negative powers. So if I have x to the negative m, that equals 1 over x to the m. Right? So it's not going to matter if the base is negative. It's only working for the power. It only works for if the power is negative. However, in this case, that's what we end up with. Because this ends up giving us a negative 3, 6, which is the same thing as negative 1 half, right? Yes? So this now can be rewritten as a negative 8, negative 8 to the negative 1 half. So therefore, to rewrite that as a positive power, I now have to rewrite this in the denominator. So it's still negative. I'll put just the negative of the 1 over um, 8 to the positive 1 half power. Then to rewrite that as a radical expression, that's now going to be um, the square root. So it's negative 1 over the square root of 8. And then lastly, as we, as we discussed in class, you guys should know that the square root of 8, if you remember the prime factorization of the square root of 8, is 2 times 2 times 2. right? And what we worked on um, when I wasn't here was taking out your pairs of numbers. And that really becomes 2 square root of 2. So your final answer is negative 1 over 2 square root of 2.